Welcome to another episode of the Canadian Insight where we dive headfirst into a pool of jello in hopes to be fossilized, dug up, and researched by scientists in the near future after our civilization is done. The popular atheist slogan, there probably is no God, now stop worrying and enjoy your life, that hit British streets January 6th may be coming to Toronto. Organizers for the Toronto campaign hope to raise about $6,000 in order to cover the $317 costs for advertisements on the back of the TTC transit system and for the subway system $700 apiece. I for one would be interested in overhearing some of these conversations compared to the previous conversations about their brand new cell phones. And I'm excited to go green. Ontario is actually finally making its first developments and stepping into a brand new greener world by backing up high California's high-tech company. Canada will be joining Israel, United States, Denmark and Australia in producing these battery electronic supply depots. Next year, GM will introduce its new GM Volt, which is capable of going 60 kilometers on a single charge. Magma, a Canadian manufacturer of for car parts, will be joining Ford in hopes to build the brand new 2010 Ford Compact electric car. 10,000 electric vehicles on the road by 2011. Fortunately, it may cost $8,000 more to build an electric vehicle compared to the average vehicle nowadays. Now, I'm a big fan of the brand new ways and the brand new thinking going towards environmental technology and I think it would do a very good thing for our recession right now and create a lot more jobs into a lot more different areas of our On the contrary, scientists have actually genetically altered bacteria to eat agricultural waste and excrete petroleum. They estimate that they could actually produce oil at $50 a barrel. They plan to have a production plant assembled and built and fully operational by 2010 and by 2011 completely have a commercialized industry. Now from this they can easily make jet fuel, they can easily make all these other fuels that they can get from oil right now, therefore halting all the environmental steps we have taken, slow down the process of that rethinking another way of saving our planet. I for one am an environmentally friendly person. I do not like to see our planet in the way that it is. Birds are dying, animals are dying, and I do not believe that oil is a way of going. I mean we can use it for some things, but the majority of things should not be run on oil. I believe in what these scientists are doing, but I believe it is not natural for one to genetically alter things for their own personal gain. Now, do you guys believe we should rethink our ways and actually take a really hard, really long step into a brand new, ecologically friendly way of thinking? Or should we focus mainly on re-industrializing the way we look at oil and bringing brand new ways of creating oil. Anyways, my name is Michael Shea. I hope you enjoyed me trying to actually struggle my way into creating my own thought. I hope you enjoyed yourself and keep on staying green.